Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a simple transformation. Let's start with a cube. Change the segments. Make it editable. Let's make a sphere. Increase the radius and make it editable. Hide the two objects. Make a null. Right click Cinema 4D Tags Expresso. Inside the Expresso, right click New Node Thinking Particles TP Generator P Blur. Now let's go to Simulate. Thinking particles, particle geometry. Select the P blur and add the sphere and the cube inside the objects. First the sphere and then the cube. To use these controls, you need to select one of the objects. If I select, if I select the cube are only for the cube but you can select both and use the controller for both now go to your timeline add a keyframe to animation phase go to the last frame increase the animation to 100 and add a keyframe now Hit play and you have a transformation. Let's change some of the parameters. By the next, make it down a little bit. Play. And as you can see, it changed the animation. Let's change the number of pieces to 10 and hit play, we have more pieces. Let's change the direction and see what happens. You can also select one object and choose one direction and select the other object and choose a different direction. Hit play. And we have a different animation. Let's change some parameters just to see what happened. You can also add thickness to the pieces. If you right click in the particle geometry, you can add a rigid body. Go to collision, change to all, go to forces, change to thin, and hit play. And now all your pieces are rigid bodies. You can adjust for your needs. You can also add effectors. So select an effector, make it child of particle geometry, change the parameters, and see what kind of effect this effector gives. Make sure you change the deformer to polygon.
let's see what happened with this random effect hit play as you can see it moves because of the noise of the random effector you can also add a null so you can make a path for all the pieces add the null in the middle of the sphere and the cube now select the null and move in one direction let's move it in y axis and see what happens the pieces first start with the sphere move to the null and end in the cube you can add another node to change the path hit play and all the pieces move in these two nodes you can also add more objects let's put a platonic make it editable add it to the object let's change the animation move a little bit in the timeline add a keyframe and see what happens as you can see you can make a transformation between more than two objects. You can also change from pieces to faces. So the animation will be using the faces of your object. You can also move the objects in different directions. So you can make a different animation from one object to another. Play with these settings and make your own transformations.